Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about relationships in ecosystems. So, talking about the, um, some of the examples of um, how different living things interact with each other um, and are affected by each other in an ecosystem. So, some of the the relation types of relationships that we're going to go through, we're going to talk about uh, mutualism. We're going to talk about one called commensalism. We're going to talk about um, parasitism. And we're going to talk about competition. So what we're going to do, so we're going to go through each one of these in turn. So to think about some of the specific um, kind of the definitions and as well as some ex quick examples to go through. Okay, so let's start um, by looking at mutualism. Okay, so that Hopefully the, the word mutual, um, when we're thinking about this, might give you a bit of an indication of it that this is a, uh, this is a positive relationship. Okay, so what it is, is it's essentially a win-win for two organisms. Um, that is to say, both benefit. Um, so what, what that means is that where we're getting two, um, so we're getting two, you know, two or more kind of organisms working in this what we call this symbiotic relationship. So a symbiosis, where they're working together in this 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 kind of pairing or this this tandem in a way that each one benefits the other um, because of their their presence. So um, we have so one example, especially if you've seen Finding Nemo, is the clownfish and anemone. So um, the clownfish um, helps to um, helps to kind of clean off the anemone and, is, and helps to source some of its food, but yet it lives um, safely and with protection inside the structure of the anemone. So that that helps to keep it safe from predators. It's developed an adaptation to help it to not be uh, damaged by the the stingers that um, or that that kind of that shocking sort of an effect that that happens with the anemone's fronds. Um, but so it gets a safe place to live. Um, the anemone um, gets someone to clean and maintain its area, and also to help um, in in terms of feed um, feeding. So in with mutualism, it's a positive relationship where both benefit. Okay. Now let's have a quick look at commensalism. Okay. So um, this one would be a term that would be m more unfamiliar, and you can't really. Um, look at the root word here to give you um, too much kind of a, of a background here. But it's also an example of a positive relationship. Um, that is, it's where one organism is um, benefits and um, where we would say other is um, unaffected, good or bad. Okay, so that is um, that because of this relationship, that one organism benefits of the presence of the other, or of something that 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 impacts the other, but the other is is otherwise unaffected by it. It doesn't. It's not a negative um, kind of relationship there. That it's it's not um, taking something away from it. It's not benefiting it either. It's just kind of nothing. Um, so one one kind of example that comes up is a shark and called the remora fish. So what happens? You kind of get the the shark. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Absolutely terrible. Bear with me. Shark, man. This looks like a horrible kind of... Yep. I am not an art teacher. All right, so we have our shark. It looks like a weird eel or something. Sorry. Okay, um, but so what it does is that then the remora fish hangs out underneath. Um, and what it does is it, it stays kind of in the protection of the shark, um, and it basically it feeds off little scraps that tend to come from the shark's mouth or that, that hang out that, that will be present near the shark as it's as it's feeding. So it kind of stays cause it's kind of stuck on to the shark, um, and so use, uses this as a source of food. The shark is otherwise unaffected though. The shark doesn't benefit from having the remora fish there. Um, it's not being cleaned or kind of maintained or protected or anything by it. But it's also not being harmed. It's not actually doing anything to to the shark, you know. So another example might be um, 
when we're thinking about a whale and barnacles that you might often see around the kind of around the mouth of a humpback whale, for example. Um, you know, so they would attach on, there's a plentiful supply of food, the whale is otherwise un, unharmed and unaffected. It doesn't damage it in any way, but also doesn't benefit it. Okay, so now let's look at our third kind of example where we're starting to get into a relationship that is negative. Okay, and that is parasitism. That is where we have a parasite host relationship. Okay, so this is a negative relationship. Uh, that is, it's because one um, benefits and then the other is harmed. Okay, um, so that is one, one organism is benefiting at the expense of the other. Um, so the other might not be harmed seriously, it might be a, a small kind of a niggle or maybe a little bit of blood taken out or something like that. Um, or it might be catastrophic, it might end up killing the other organism. Okay, so let's, let's say think of um, uh, an example of um, from the mosquito plus human. Okay, so the mosquito um, feeds off the blood of a human being, um, and so, but then the human being is damaged as a way of actually removing that, that blood out. You know, or you might even substitute that with, say, like thinking about leeches or ticks or um, those, those sorts of um, organisms all kind of work in the same way, not necessarily just of humans or otherwise, but we can also think of other things such as like tapeworms um, that exist inside um, the, the gut of, the, of a human being um, and then actually kind of feed off things that are actually, that make our way through our system, um, therefore taking nutrients away from us. Now again, that this is probably an example where it's not necessarily um, catastrophic. Um, you can live with these worms inside you for some time. Um, without necessarily realizing it, um, but it's still not benefiting you. It's, the, the, the tapeworm is benefiting at our expense. Okay, um, and, and so, yeah, so that's an example of parasitism. Okay, let's look at the last one, just to, to wrap things up, and that is this idea of competition. Okay, now, I wouldn't um, go so far as to say that competition is positive or negative, it's a reality um, in many ecosystems where you're getting two or more um, species uh, who are competing. And so they might be competing for other nutrients, like water. They might be competing for, um, for nesting areas or habitat. Okay, or oh, they might be com competing in, in lots of different ways with one another. But so, but what we end up with is we end up with a winner and a loser. Okay, so one species wins out in some capacity over another, um, dominates, so then the winner um, gets stronger and gets more numerous, the loser starts to die out. Okay, this is kind of the basis of what, what we talk about as, as natural selection in within the concept of evolution. Um, this idea that that thing that that species that are are more suited to their environment or better adapted to their environment or otherwise, you know, more capable, um, tend to thrive and predominate, and those that are not will tend to die out um, until eventually then there's none of the the, the earlier ones left. Um, so it kind of shaping the, the nature of species over time. Okay. Um, all right. So in in this video, so we've looked at the idea the four kind of main types of relationships that we can see between living things in an ecosystem. Um, we talked about mutualism, where both organisms benefit. Commensalism, where one organism benefits and the other one is otherwise unaffected. Uh, we looked at parasitism, where one benefits at the expense of the other. And then looking at competition, where we've got two or more species competing for something, whether it's food, water, nesting areas, habitat, whatever. Okay. So there are all different ways that those living things can interact with each other. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.